Hello, and welcome to the LWJGL3 tutorial. In this video, I'll be showing you a more proper way of setting up a window, as well as explaining that, and creating our first quad, nice and colorful. Okay, so here we are, exactly where we have left the code last time. To actually initialize this window more properly, we need some if statements. So this glfw init method is pretty self-explanatory. It initializes glfw, but it returns an integer. It'll return one if it was successful, and it will return zero if it was not. So if it was not, we want we want to test that. And so we'll surround that with if and not equal to one. Like I said, one is true and zero is false. And we'll just want to print out an error saying glfw failed to initialize. And then we'll just exit with an error code of one. And so that's how we initialize it more properly. This is completely fine. And this is fine too. Now the last thing we have to do is right under the while loop, this is for when the game has finished, we do glfw terminate. And what this does is it clears everything out of the memory that glfw has used. It cleans up after itself. Now the reason why I didn't explain these is because it's pretty self-explanatory. We're creating the window and we're showing it. Now, last video I didn't uh, explain why we didn't need these, and that's because this variable right here controls whether the window is full screen or not. And I'm not very much sure what this variable is, but I always leave it at zero and I don't have much of a problem. If I ever figure out, I will uh, inform you. And that's it. Now if we run, we shouldn't have broken any of the code. And we still have our window. Now, before we can actually get rendering a quad, there's actually one thing that we have to do. Every OpenGL application has a context. And what a context is, it's basically an image that gets sent to the graphics card, or that is on the graphics card, I should say. And it's what OpenGL likes to draw on. And that's what is displayed onto our window. And so to do this, all we have to do is import org lwjgl opengl and dot gl so now we can do gl dot create capabilities this is basically creating a context now in theory this should work but it doesn't and here's why it's because we don't have the window set to have the context. Silly, yeah. But in order to fix this, all you really have to do is under show window, type in glfw make context current, and then pass in our window variable. And so what this is doing here is it's saying, hey, I need a context. 
so I can display our great graphics. And that's what the computer does. It creates the context, it puts it in the graphics card, and allows OpenGL to draw to it. And the last thing we need to do before we can actually start drawing our quad is to swap the buffer. Yeah, so we'll type at the end of our while loop, we'll type in glfw swap buffer. And also we pass in our window parameter. It, it swap buffers, not swap buffer. Okay. So when we're creating a context, we're not just creating one. We're actually creating two. Now, we really don't really, well, we really don't need two contexts for something very small, but if eventually it'll look like, it'll look like it's bogging behind, because it'll be showing what OpenGL is drawing. It'll be, it'll probably be rendering incomplete triangles, and it'll just be a mess. So this is why we have two contexts, or buffers, so we can swap in between them. The one that is on the front end gets showed to us, while the one that's over in the back end is being drawn to. And at the end of the frame, we swap it so the back comes to the front and we see that one, while the front goes to the back and that gets messed up by OpenGL. So that's swap buffers. And all we need to do now is import static org lwjgl opengl dot gl eleven dot asterisk or star. This is going to give us all the um, this is going to give us all of the functions that we need for now. I will be going in more advanced stuff a little a little later. It's something that we can get working for now, so that way we know it works. Not only that, there are stuff that we need on there anyways, like GL clear. And what this does is we can clear the GL color buffer bits. What's this? Well, it's basically our context. And when we clear it, it's basically setting every pixel to black. You can change this by coming up here and do GL clear color. And following the variables, you can change the color to magenta. And whenever you call this function right here, instead of it clearing to black, it'll clear the screen to magenta. And next is GL immediate mode. This is the old deprecated OpenGL function pipeline that really shouldn't be used. But in this case, we're getting something working. We'll switch over to something like VBOs, vertex buffer objects in a later tutorial. But for now, we just want to see something on the screen. And this is quite simple. So all we need is gl begin g and inside this we'll put gl quads. So we are going to be drawing a quad. And now we're going to be passing in vertices. So that is passed in by calling gl vertex 2f and the parameters for this is x so i'm just going to do negative 0.5f for a float and 0.5f now i'm just going to copy this down and paste it four times or three times and I'm going to get rid of these two negatives right here and make these 
last uh, two y values negatives. So this should draw a square. Almost. We're forgetting one more thing, and that's gl end. So now we're saying, hey, we're not drawing anymore. Go ahead and stop this nonsense. So now when we run, we get our black screen. And we get our white quad. But at the beginning of the video, it was colored. And there's a special uh, function for that too. So I'm just going to do this to make it easier on myself. And it's actually quite simple. It's the same as passing vertex. It's GL color 4F, in case you didn't guess correctly. And it's going to take values of red, green, blue, and alpha, which we're not going to be using. So we'll have red, no green, and no blue. I'll copy this. Paste it there. Paste it there. Paste it there. This is going to pass colors to all vertices. However, if you only have one, let me comment these out real fast so you can see. If we only have one, we get a red quad. But let's make a multicolor quad that I showed off at the beginning of the video. And so in the second GL color, I'm going to make the red zero and the green one. The third one is going to be red 0, green 0, and blue 1, or not 4, 1. And then on the last color, red, green, and blue are going to be set to 1 for white. And now when we run, we get our multicolored quad. In the next video, I am going to go over matrix modes. And what this allows us to do is create a camera perspective of any kind. We can create with a graphic perspective, we can create 3D already if you want. So I'll see you next video where we will do that. Hope you enjoyed. And bye.